guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to the final episode of Pretty Boy Detective Club. So let's go ahead and get started. And three, two, one, go. <sighs> so sleepy, but all this to catch up because I was on vacation. Oh, and you would play it first. You would play it first. Oh, my God. This is how you start a fucking finale. You play the song that I love the most. Oh, they look so good in this art style. Oh. So it was a kind of phone. Hmm. Seriously? You're kidding me, right? You guys are seriously going to give up like this. I get it, but at the same time, it just doesn't seem like it's the right thing to do. And to leave her like this. I get it, yes, she might get killed, but she wants to finish this. Mm-hmm. You don't want that to end now. Not when it, like, it, it just started for you.
Oh, okay. Well, damn. Now, uh, I, okay. I thought we would have just skipped the opening, and you know, we would have played this song and at the end, because you know, final episode ish. But like, oh, that was a really good start. And then plus number one, you play my favorite song, and I, I don't hell, I don't even know when the soundtrack for the series is gonna come out. Probably maybe like middle of summer slash fall, so maybe by my birthday, so October. And I would like to see that because like oh, <sighs> that song is so freaking good. I just. I want to know the name of it because like see I think what what did I do like the first episode I recorded like the first few minutes I heard that song and I was like I gotta listen to this all the time so <laughs> that's what I would do because it's such a good song. Uh, show so underrated as hell and I love it so much. <laughs> But something kind of also tells me we will probably not see anything for this. Maybe. I think because it didn't. It, it, it did good in like my eyes. But I don't think it did great. Um, And the standards comparing it to like other series made by this studio. But it's still good. I would still say it's one of its greats. <laughs> My baby so perky. Of course. But see, it makes you wonder, is Naga going to make an appearance in this final episode? I mean, she made an appearance, you know, during episode 11. But since this is the finale and you're going to have everything tied up, she has to make... Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. Maybe because you two weren't as much as a threat as the rest were. Oh, God. Yeah, 
You know who he reminds me of? Oh my god. Oh, I can't remember his name. <laughs> Cause I, I, you know, I had a love hate relationship with him in a Monogatari series. <laughs> yes. Mm. Well, damn. No, man, that the, I, I call bullshit. You secretly a killer or something. I, I mean, you got issues, but we all have issues. God, these shots in art style, they're beautiful. You're up. Of course, you can't end this show without. So cute.
Makes me want to put my hair in pigtails. No. <laughs> oh god, that moment was so cute. Him chewing her out, but like, oh my god. <laughs> A cute commoner eating something so good. <laughs>
my god! That was cute. One, I did like the fact that, you know, towards the end of the episode when she's talking about, you know, how she was when she was younger and we got to see a little bit of her being older and same thing with everybody else. But I think it would have been really nice slash even better if in this little epilogue we got to see them essentially older and possibly hanging out slash interacting one last time before this show officially ended but continuing on my final thoughts oh okay we just ended like that that's a weird way to end okay but maybe it was the file that i downloaded but whatever um so final thoughts on this show i love this once again this was the one of the most underrated shows i think studio shaft did a very good job on this as something um i knew nothing about all the only thing that i kept getting feels was it was <laughs> detectives meets or a high school host club every single week watching this show and enjoying it for what it was and being like oh my god this is like the cutest thing ever and having mm, kind of like a little bit of mixed feelings because some episodes were like really really strong in the beginning and then kind of flopped towards the end but the story of it was still interesting as as fuck like don't get me wrong because and in the end like even now like I still do want to read the series just to see what is different and what comes next for these four um these four this group and such I mean, because this was essentially book, I want to say four or five, because of course, um, only I think the first three or four books is officially localized and translated um, from what I had seen on Amazon. And I so want to buy them to compare and contrast the differences of what all they were able to put in each episode versus like okay here's everything from beginning to end here's things that we possibly missed that they couldn't bring up and such and, and it's one of the many things of why I love to read so much and why I like to compare and contrast things even if someone who's like oh I don't know everything about the fucking source material but I really truly enjoyed this show I thought it was very different 
from majority of the shows that I reacted to this season and such. And I mean, because this shined out of a lot of like sequels and original series and everything else in between because of course there are going to be some underdogs and I think this season was the really kind of almost uh, I can't speak I think ever since um fall last year we've gone almost every season where officially as of now this is now the third season where the underdogs are like beating series that are like oh hey we've been here for umpteen years and such like that and such but I I'm like damn because like I, I feel like every single time when we get into a new season I feel like the the freaking underdogs are always winning it and I'm not saying that's a bad thing it's a really good thing so I, I really would highly suggest this to anyone but I would say at the same time like kind of um, either read the source material first and then watch it or like kind of watch it and read it like back and forth to know it because there of course like I was confused on some things because of course once again this is by the same person who made the Monogatsu series so of course I already knew going in I was going to be hella confused and that a lot of things were going to be like whoop and I'm going to have to probably go research it and such but that's the one thing that I truly like about what the um the animation studio does with this particular type of series and there there's kind of like a lot a, a lot of other anime series that kind of do the same thing where it's like oh hey we're gonna hide stuff in the text or we're going to show like okay this scene and then like a sentence from a book or something and then we're gonna play the next scene I really personally enjoy that so I would love to see more animes do like that but yeah I mean other than that this was a damn good show and I will miss it so much but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to the entire series of Pretty Boy Detective Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all this weekend for the start of summer anime or whenever the heck something, the next freaking thing for me airs. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.